For the last 10 months, I've been experimenting with as many AI tools as possible every single day. It's for this channel, but honestly, it's become a bit of an obsession. I've gone through all of these tools and narrowed it down to the best free options for every use case. And when I say free, I mean generally free. Let's kick things off with a couple that are just really fun before we move on to the more practical ones. First up is Luma Labs. This tool lets you take a video on your phone and turn it into a fully interactive, high detailed 3d scene check this out It uses something called Neutral Radiance Fields, or NERFs. They also have a new feature called Interactive Scenes that uses Gaussian splatting. Don't worry about these technical terms though. The interactive scenes have small file size, so you can easily embed them anywhere or send them to a friend to let them explore in 3D what you created. There are endless uses for this in retail, real estate, travel, you name it. We'll start seeing these in lots of industries, but they're also great for creative projects. And my favorite, relieving all memories. To get started, just download the free app on your phone where you can also explore uploads from other users for inspiration. And to create your own 3D scene, either you start a new capture in the app and follow the uh, on-screen instructions or take a normal video with your phone. For the best results, walk around the scene or the object in circles from different heights. Then upload the video to the app and let it render. Once it's done, you can navigate through the scene on your phone or on your computer using their web version. You can even create custom videos by setting keyframes to guide the camera movement in any direction and at any angle. One of my favorite tools is Perplexity. It's like a fine-tuned ChatGPT, basically an interactive search assistant that you can ask anything. It uses up-to-date information, browses the web across multiple sources, and gives you concise answers almost instantly. It shows you which sources it used, and you can click through the articles for more details. It starts responding immediately, and sometimes it brings up to 10 sources in one response if needed. If you're using the desktop version, it can pull up images as well. You can also upload PDFs and ask questions about them. I mostly use the mobile app and I find myself using it over Google for most question-based searches. There is a pro version, but the free version is really robust. I've never felt the need to upgrade from the free plan. And in this video, I'm only talking about tools with really solid free plans like this. I'll mention when they have paid upgrades just to give you the full picture picture of uh, how much you get for free. So you won't waste your time trying something only to find out you have to pay to do what you wanted. Here's another tool similar to Perplexity, but built in right into Google. Their new search generative experience. This is an experimental feature you can turn on to use AI in your searches. It shows up at the top of your search results, giving you a quick summary of answers with the sources on the side. You can expand it to read more and ask follow-up questions. It's really, really Really handy in a lot of situations so i keep it on all the time to set it up go to labs.google.com click get started then switch it on there are also extra options for coding and adding ai to google sheets they recently added the ability to generate images just type in the search bar what you wanted to generate you can add follow-up prompts to tweak things until you get something that you like there are other text to image generators that might do a better job in some cases and i'll be covering those a bit later now we've been talking about some really impressive AI tools that can help you out with a bunch of different stuff. But this next one has to be one of my favorites. Rendora AI is an amazing text-to-video AI tool that lets you create studio quality videos. With Rendora, it's really easy to make these super crisp AI videos in just four quick steps. You simply select the backdrop, select your model, give it a prompt for what you want to happen. And this could be something short or an entire full length YouTube video, doesn't really matter. Rendora will handle it. And then last step is just to let Rendora work its magic and create a stunning 3D video. Now, if you struggle with writing scripts or prompts, there is no need to worry because Rendora works incredibly well with other AI tools like ChatGPT. You can just prepare your slides in Canva, for example, have ChatGPT write a script and throw all 
all that into Rendora and let it do its thing. Also, remember those 3D avatars I mentioned a second ago? Yeah, those are actually lifelike 3D avatars of yourself that you can create and customize using Rendora. These 3D avatars are way better than any of the 2D stuff that's more common everywhere. You simply can't have this kind of range with your facial expressions and camera angles if you're using 2D. And most of these expressions are pre-recorded anyways, while Rendora lets you adjust facial expressions in real time. And the customization is just wild. You can also customize the avatar with millions of looks. I'll change my outfit for different occasions. I can also change a makeup in instance and add my favorite accessories. You can change the outfits and features of your avatars to look just like you or something else entirely if you want. Immediately I can tell you how useful this tool would be if you're like a YouTube faceless channel or a VTuber or just someone that wants to try something new and fun. The awesome people over at Rendora AI have been kind enough to sponsor today's video so feel free to check them out at the link below. Now the best AI music generator out there without any dubs as of the release of this video is Suno. And it just got even better with version 3. Plus, it's now free to use. On the homepage, you'll see a bunch of songs people generated using Suno. Let's check out some of the trending ones. Stop, shut down my masterpiece. A concept that's beyond the realm of mundane. PG-13, the rate that we all discuss. Guidelines for films, the classification we must try. A for apple, B for banana, C for cat. Well, that is impressive, but scary at the same time. Like, I wouldn't be impressed if people would start listening more and more often in the near future to AI-generated songs. You can also reuse the same prompt people came up with to generate a specific song. But if you want to input your prompt, you just head over to the Create tab, write your prompt into the song description box, choose if you want to include vocals, and then click Create. That's it. It's that simple. The next tool is also in the music realm. It's called Music Gen, and it was released by Meta. Music Gen creates music in lots of different genres really well, but it doesn't do vocals. I'll show you the easiest way to use it because someone made a better interface for it called Waveformer, where you can just enter a prompt with whatever you want your music to sound like, so gender, instruments, tempo, and feel. Click submit and let it generate. It takes like a minute or two and usually it comes back with a great sounding song. This last music tool is a really cool set developed by Google in collaboration with Lupe Fiasco. They're designed to help with writing lyrics in a collaborative way, keeping the artist deeply involved in the process. The best part is that they're all free and super easy to start using. I personally had a lot of fun with these. Check out this clip from their promo video. This bite-sized AI tool that can take in any word as input, explode it into all these different possibilities in the same way that Lupe does. And that's just one tool. We built nine others as well. It's called Text Effects. These tools, they generate similes, they create acronyms, and they parse words. It's an entire suite of different kind of possibilities dealing with text and language. All right, let's move on to something more visual. One of the easiest way to animate an image is with Layapix. First, head over to convert.layapix.com, click upload, and just like that, you have an immersive depth animation. There are sliders to change the length of the animation cycle and the way it moves. There's also an advanced editor for more customization. Once you're happy with it, just choose your export format. It's super easy and I really love how these animations look. I included it because you get unlimited free exports in 720p, which is still pretty high quality. Insta 3D. This tool is by Illumin AI and is like Leapix but even more immersive. Here's the home screen. At the bottom, you'll find some sample images you can test out. They look really cool and give you a good idea on what works well. To get started, upload your own image and you're all set. You can move around the scene. They have different effects at the bottom for you to play with. Some images work really well, though things can get a bit wonky if 
you zoom in too far. Still, it's pretty amazing that you can create something that immersive from just a 2D image. This next one comes from Meta and it's really fun and super easy to use. It's designed to animate children's drawings, but you can upload any characters you want. Just make sure it's on a white background with each limb separated and visible. First, click on upload photo, agree to the terms, then adjust the frame here if it doesn't capture the full character. On the next page, you can fix the mask if there are any issues, then find each of the joints and let it do its thing. And there you have it. You have a bunch of different animations to choose from. It's made to animate children's drawings, so a lot of the animations are pretty silly, but it's fun to mess around with. You could also key out the background and let it play over another image. And it also looks completely ridiculous if you upload a real person, but that just adds to the fun. Give it a try and see what hilarious animations you could come up with. Now, CapCap has a bunch of different AI tools built in, like clips to video, script to video, long video to shorts, product URL to ads. And if you go on magic tools, you can see that you can remove the background, you can upscale a video, an image as well. And just the fact that you can transform long video to shorts is actually really useful. I started using CapCup recently and I haven't seen any mention of limits on the free users on these features. Those are some great video tools, but often you need to start with an image. Before we jump into image generators, let's talk about something useful for any images you have, whether they are AI generated or not. Upscaling and restoration. Most of the upscalers I've come across have limited uses, but there are two that are completely free and unlimited. Replicate has a full suit of image restoration tools and upscalers as well. You'll find a bunch of models for different needs. Some can quadruple the resolution, some will denoise and smooth out the image, and others will add details. Just pick the one that fits your needs and run it. There are tons of options for touching up old photos, colorizing black and white photos, enhancing night images, and my favorite, deblurring. Replicate is great for quick web-based upscaling. But if you want something you can run on your own computer with batch upscaling options, check out upscale.org, spelled with a Y. It's a free and open source software that you can download. It offers multiple options for different types of upscaling. Most of the time, I like using the real SERGAN4X model, but you can even upscale images up to 16X if you want. There's also a digital art model that's great for cartoons or vector art styles, as it smooths them out a bit. If you regularly need to upscale images, I highly recommend upscale. Many images from AI art generators need upscaling, and this tool does a fantastic job. Now this is one of my favorite AI tools from the video. It's called Illusion Diffusion. There are so many awesome ways to use this. It was originally trained to make these really cool QR codes you might have seen. Then Mr. Ugly or Ugle figure out a way to create spirals and other illusions with it. This looks amazing and the best part is that you can do it all for free. There are some examples here that you can try out. I really like this spiral one. The illusion strength controls how much the spiral affects the image and a good starting point is between 0.8 and 1.2 but it depends on what you're aiming for so you need to experiment a bit just type in your prompt and click run the processing time can vary depending on the time of day for me it usually takes 30 seconds but it can be longer during peak hours now check this out so beautiful and weird at the same time the illusion strength has the biggest impact on the final result so that's the main setting i tweak when i'm fine tuning you can also upload your own images instead of using their examples and so the possibilities are endless as you're fine tuning just keep in mind that for some of these you might need to squint a bit to see the illusion there's so much you can do with this tool now for the text to image generators there is a ton of options out there so i'm just going to show you the ones that i found more useful and give me the best results i'll also point out their pros and cons let's start with dali 3 which you can access through chat gpt all you need to do is type in your prompt and press enter it handles text really well but the best part is how it understands your prompt you can get very specific about what you want and it gets it right basically every single time another incredible text to image ai tool is ideogram if you click on this tab you'll start to see what this tool does well and where it has some limitations it's fantastic for text based designs logos and illustrations however it's not as strong when it comes to photo realism or getting really specific details in your design 
designs. When you type your prompt, a bunch of different styles will appear. You can pick one if you want or just let your prompt guide the creation. There are also a few aspect ratios to choose from before you hit generate. The tool will come back with four options. If you see one you like but want to tweak it, click remix and it will generate four more similar options. You can keep remixing until you find something you're happy with. Now, the one that I personally use the most is Leonardo AI. With the free plan, you can produce up to 150 images per day. So plenty enough, I would say. Here you can see some examples of images that you can create with this tool. And as you can see, it is extremely versatile. You are able to create images with just a simple prompt and with an absurd amount of different styles, from photorealistic images to anime. It has an image to image feature that includes style reference, content reference, character reference, depth to image, edge to image, post to image and text image input. Inside Leonardo, you will also be able to in-paint, out-paint, edit images, animate them, generate images in real time and upscale them. Leonardo honestly deserves a dedicated video. And if you want me to go more in detail on how to use it, just let me know in the comments down below. I'm also leaving a link in the description for every AI tool mentioned in this video. If you want to stay up to date on all of the latest and greatest AI tools, make sure to subscribe. I've got a lot of great content content in the works. Oh, and check out this video right here, where I show you how to create an AI influencer and how to make money with it. See you there.